hello friends welcome to my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet then please please do subscribe it and here I am with my another experiment that is determination of specific gravity of cement so what is specific gravity of cement it is basically the weight of the cement to the with respect to the water so here as you can see this is the gravity bottle in which we are going to do this entire experiment and this is the kerosene which we have to use in this experiment so firstly we take a empty gravity bottle and start weighing that and take it as a W1 so as you can see here that's W1 and after that take the empty bottle and fill it with one fourth or one third of the cement in bottle with cement and that is taken as W2 okay and then next is after that put kerosene into that that weight it again and that is taken as W3 then weight of bottle and kerosene once you empty the cement and kerosene the previous thing now take the other thing that is just weight of bottle and kerosene full kerosene up till the brim that is taken as w4 as you can see over here and then weight of bottle plus water that is w5 for every step you have to empty the bottle and take the fresh bottle with whatever required thing like cement once kerosene another time and then lastly water so after weighing this you will get w1 w2 w3 w4 and w5 then after that specific gravity of kerosene can be calculated with this formula w4 minus w1 divided by w5 minus w1 and specific gravity of cement is w2 minus w1 divided by w2 minus w1 minus w3 minus w4 and whole multiplied by the specific gravity of kerosene so here I have written aim definition apparatus required and the procedure like how you have to write in your records and observations and here goes the calculations in my experiment when I performed in my college laboratory I noted down the experiments the value and I got this in grams everything and likewise I calculated them using the formulas so I got the gravity of uh, specific gravity of kerosene to be 0 0.79 and then this is it specific gravity of cement okay and there ends the experiment the result specific gravity of cement is 2.82 gram per cc okay so I hope you can understand this just take a screenshot of this and write in your records okay so I was asked this viva in my lab during my lab exams so that is why is kerosene used in the experiment answer is like uh, water reacts with cement so and produces hydration effect so that's why kerosene is used okay and uh, due to hydration when water reacts with cement the weight of the cement will change so that we will not get the correct exact amount of weight of the cement that's why kerosene is used it's not reactive with cement that's why main reason okay I hope it's clear and then second is what is specific gravity of ordinary Portland cement OPC OPC means ordinary Portland cement okay and that is 3.12 gram per cc so if you get an exact 3.12 gram per cc then that cement whichever you have selected for the entire experiment will be taken as the ordinary Portland cement and there are various values that is gram per cc values for various cements so it depends on what type of cement you are going to take then give the dimensions of Lee Chartlier flask so this is called as a Lee Chartlier flask or the gravity specific gravity bottle any name can be given to this and also in some experiments it is uh, even called as the pycnometer so it's everything 
so this is the basic specific gravity of cement experiment and you can note it down like this so thank you and uh, please do subscribe thank you